Hey there, YouTube. It's Math Bowler. Welcome to my third of eight. I have decided to make it eight videos showing my 2023 spring Facebook recap purchases. I'm making into eight videos because if I did in six, I'm not giving it justice for the nice items I'll be showing later on. And also kind of a reminder that I need to take a step back. I wanted to spend and buy some fun stuff. I certainly did. I think it's time for me to ease up a little bit here. So I have 16 different transactions to show you. These are my small autograph trading card videos. My fourth video, which you'll see on Saturday, are three lots of signed baseball cards. Some vintage, some pirates, some both vintage pirates. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and show you in the order which I got these. These are small individual or very small lots. And I did not take them out of the holders. I have a Pete Rose 1986 Leaf. There he is. Hit 40... 191, 40, 192. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Just glad to add that to the collection. Got a cheap Bill Verdon. I don't believe I got him on the Fleer card where he's the manager right there. You can see him right there. So that was a nice little addition. And then as soon as I purchased this, I'm like, oh, what the crap did I just do? That's race off, not Tom Her. What the crap am I doing? Four dollar whoops, and that's okay. That's okay. These next four cards are all full signatures. I bought this off the person who runs Mainline Autographs. We got four full signatures of Freddy Sanchez. Took the batting title there for the Pirates. It was awesome. Five dollars a peach plus one dollar to ship. So twenty one bucks for these four. Love it. I mean. Florida State League card here. Low spinners. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. A star or something there. I'm not sure. What he at? I don't know. It's still really cool. There we go. Florida State League. So that was a nice purchase right there. I was really glad to add those. Saw some Al Downings pop up for $3 each. It's like, well, that's cheaper than what he signs through the mail. Blue Sharpie, the cards are in good condition. Let's do it. So, yeah, 3 bucks a card. We'll do that. All right, this is the most expensive purchase I'm going to show you right here. We do have a Kent to call the rookie card. Yes, we got his rookie card. Teak, the rubber band man, the tall skinny nightmare. How does anybody hit this guy? Mm-hmm. Also had two Dennis Eckersleys in there with the inscriptions. 92 AL MVP was also the Cy Young winner. Did both that year. There we go, a Hall of Fame 2004. Neither of them are smudged. That was my big purchase that you want to see in this video. Next up, we got Jordy Mercer. I always like Jordy Mercer on the living set. A little $5 purchase here. I do not believe I have Doug Jones on the 89 tops, so for 5 bucks, I'll add him. That's with shipping. Bought four. No, make that three. The one seller, that one was apparently claimed. Not a big fan of when they cross-post things, but anyway... Three former Pirates pitchers here. We got Trevor Williams, who had a great moment during his very first appearance when he won that game. I was there, it was awesome. We got Kyle Crick, part of that Andrew McCutcheon trade that brought Brian Reynolds and Kyle Crick over from the Giants. And then we have Chris Stratton, who I always had a lot of respect for. All right, we're uh, just over halfway there. Next up, we got Jay Happ in person autograph on his first Bowman. That's really cool. Really surprised me. A car like that's six bucks. And man, back in 2015, the Pirates won 98 games. Then they cut salary. They let this guy go to another team for not a whole lot more money. And that it was just a. Mm. Next up, we got Kenta Calvi on the action packed who added 1979 
He didn't have to say what happened in 1979. We all know. So that was cool. It was a bit unusual, though. When I claimed the card, somebody else did the angry face reply to my claim. Apparently they wanted it, too. I mean, I'll be honest with you. If someone wanted to private message me saying, could I really have that card, I'd let you have it. But doing the angry face thing, ugh. I've been bummed out, too. I think we all have. All right, this is kind of cool. I know someone who I'd like to gift this to. So we got Rob Deere on a Miller Highlight card. <laughs> That's cool. This slab, I don't buy many slabs, but he was a pirate. He was a rookie of the year, not with the pirates though. We got Don Schwall. Very cool. Little slab. They cut that from something and then they slabbed it up and uh, here I bought 20 bucks. That's with shipping. Hall of Fame and All-Star Edition from Historic Autographs, which he's not really either of those, but it's okay. Maybe he did play in an All-Star. Maybe he did. No protection on this case, though. It's scratched up pretty good. That is that is annoying. I'll be honest. That is annoying. All right, next up... um. This person had Key Brian Hayes cards for a very reasonable price, and I bought all six types that he had. His first Bowman. Here's one with him and his father, Charlie Hayes. I'd love to get Charlie Hayes to sign that. There we go on a Florida State League card. There's a Bowman. There's a Topps Heritage when he was with the West Virginia Power. I think I have that card signed by him already. And then we got uh, Cole Tucker. First round pick of the Pirates way back when. Yeah, 2016 Bradenton Marauders card. Only two more to show you, and this was a steal. Well, okay, two bucks a card. Connor Joe, first Bowman, okay, two bucks each. But then you got the Mitch Keller. Mitch Keller has some serious potential, serious potential. First Bowman, autographed, two bucks each, great pickup. Then my last one to show you, vintage players, not on vintage cards. This is a 1968 style card. He obviously was a pirate in 1968. Um, yep. <laughs> but that's still cool to get Elroy Face there. Three different Vern Laws. Red, white, and blue. And shame on that seller for doing that tape like that. The red one is numbered 21 of 50. The white border, not numbered. The blue bordered 129 of 199. So we got three Vern Laws. It's a nice signature. 25 bucks right there. And then we got the Tony Pena on the 87 Donruss. So there's five autographs right there. So this is a pretty cool way to end it right there, especially those Vern Laws. That's nice. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. That's my third of eight videos showing my spring 2023 Facebook recap purchases. I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Monday, and an autograph and a trading card video such as this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I really would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.